Hello and welcome to a POSCatch.com product presentation and today we are going to show you how to use Microsoft Excel as a uh, quick, easy and inexpensive way to keep track of your barcoded items such as for asset tracking or for inventory tracking uh, and you would also do this with a barcode scanner. Uh, now, actually, this barcode scanner is a DataLogic Quick Scan. Uh, this is actually one of the better barcode scanners on the market today. And if you wanted to know more about this barcode scanner, uh, definitely review our other YouTube video uh, that gives a really great uh, nifty uh, product presentation for the DataLogic Quick Scan. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open up uh, Microsoft Excel. Uh, this is actually Microsoft uh, 365, uh, but if you have an older version of Excel, uh, it will still function the same way. Uh, now, what we're going to do is, is we have three different items here with three different barcodes, and we're going to scan these three different items. Now, you can have, of course, more than three. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to use this as an example. So as you can see, you can just scan right in. See that? And it's going to scan down to the next line. And that's because we have carriage return enabled on this barcode scanner. If for whatever reason your barcode scanner does not have carriage return enabled to where it can do this, scan down to the next line, you'll want to refer to, the, to your user's manual uh, because you can uh, turn that function on and off quite easily. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and scan these. We're going to mix them up a little bit here so we can get them. Then, as you can see, it's scanning in. It's just going to keep scanning down. And that's the way you want to do it right there. Let's do one more. Okay. So, what we're going to want to do is put in a header to this. So, it's very important. So, we're just going to put in a generic header of barcodes. Now it's very important that you do put in this header because if you don't, your count is going to be off. Okay, so you put in barcodes, go ahead and highlight this. And then what you want to do is you want to uh, sort and you want to sort from uh, A to Z. And as you can see, what that does is that groups your barcodes. So it groups all the same barcodes in their own uh, identifying group, which is what you want. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to go up here to data, go to data, and then go over here to subtotal. It's going to open up a new box. It's going to, under use function, it's going to default to sum, but you want to change that to count. Click on count. Make sure that your column barcodes here is the check mark is there. Uh, don't change anything down here. Uh, leave that as default. And then click okay now open this up and then look at that so we have a count you see that here so for all these barcodes these are all the same barcode ending in seven five four six so all barcodes ending in seven five four six there's a total count of six for all barcodes ending in eight four three eight there's also a count of six see that and then for all barcodes ending in 192Z, there's a count of three. And it gives you a grand total, you have a grand total count of 15. And then over here you have these three boxes. It says one, two, and three. Number three is what you see on your screen now. And then if you click on box number two, then that condenses everything down into your total counts. So you have count uh, barcode ending in 7546 is count 6, barcode ending in 8438 it's count of 6, and then barcode ending in 192Z count of 3 for a total of 15. Okay, now this is a great way to do because let's just say you have, you know, 50 or 100 uh, different barcodes and, you know, maybe you can have 2 to 20 pieces of each. Uh, so this is an awesome way and a very inexpensive way for you to keep track of your um, inventoried items. Now one thing to note, however, is when you scan a barcode, 
like this, just a regular barcode, what you're going to get is just the number. You're not going to get the item description. So for in this this case, this is a vitamin, but when you scan this, it's not going to say it's not going to say what it is. So that is one downside to a regular UPC barcode. But that said, what you can do is you can just simply add a column uh, in here. And then you can just type in what it is. You know, you can put an identifier in here. Uh, so you do want to keep track of that. But the main thing is just to do your account, and that's what barcodes are for. Uh, also, too, if you have a uh, inventory control program, you can upload this data from Excel into that program as well, uh, which is uh, a great tool to have as well. So if you have any further questions about this, please don't hesitate to contact us or visit our website at poscatch.com. Thank you for watching.